Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Welcome again to my creative African cooking channel in Dudu by Fafa. My name is Fafa Gilbert and today on the menu I do have something rather exciting. Yes, you heard me right. No, you didn't hear anything. <laughs> today on the menu you are going to enjoy this beautiful baked guinea fowl that's infused with rosemary and garlic. Yummy. Here are the list of ingredients that you will need for this beautiful dish. Now to start off, you need to peel the skin of your ginger. Now at this stage, you can actually use your pestle or mortar or your asanka. You can even blend it. Better still just grate it. But I'm just being complex as always. <laughs> I just need an excuse to actually use my stone, you see, because I've not used it for a while. So I'm actually just bashing the ginger and wood grind it um, into a smooth paste. And what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be using the juice of the ginger and I'm going to rub it all over the guinea fowl. So there is um, a madness to my method. I mean, ideally, you can actually blend your ginger and mix it with other spices and, you know, marinate the whole guinea fowl in it. But I'm doing this differently because I want the skin to actually have that gingery taste and crispiness. Um, and also, I'm going to be infusing part of the ginger in the cavity of the guinea fowl. Um, in doing so, it means that I'm actually just going to have this sort of background heat, um, but it's not going to overpower the dish. Now, whenever you're dealing with um, poultry or meat or anything, just ensure you do wash your hands. Um, so immediately I've actually done this marinade, I'm just washing my hands and washing the stone as well. I might as well kill two birds with a stone. And then yes, wipe the surfaces, make sure everything is clean and now let's continue. So I've actually just got half a um, lemon juice that I'm actually going to be squeezing over the um, guinea fowl. And yet again, it's just to give it that refreshing taste. So now I've got that little spiciness in the background and I'm going to have that refreshing taste from the lemon. This is just going to be delicious. So at this stage, I'm going to start infusing flavors, if I can actually even get this fire up. <laughs> right, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to add some olive oil to my frying pan. And it's going to be on a medium heat because all I'm doing is infusing the flavors of the garlic as well as the rosemary into the oil. So I'm just going to finally um, slice the garlic and add it to the oil. At this stage, reduce your heat to its lowest setting and I'm now going to be adding my rosemary because all I'm trying to do is just infuse the flavours. So you can just see the infusion is just taking place as I add some more. This is going to be delicious. Let me do this, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. Let me do it. Okay, it's not any other food. It's in doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sounding dodgy and dodgy and dodgy as I go along. Anyway, back to cooking. So I've got my um, guinea fowl ready and I've actually left the oil to actually cool down completely um, so the infusion will take place. Now the frying process took about three to four minutes and I left it to cool down for about five minutes. So I'm just scooping half of it um, over the um, guinea fowl and rubbing it. So you've noticed that the flavors that I'm actually incorporating, even though they are strong, I've actually infused into the oils and because it's in the oil, it's not overpowering um, the meat, but it would actually enhance the flavor of the meat and that's the whole point of this now each time i wear this um disposable glove to actually do marinade and rub it keeps coming off but you know what 
I have to deal with it. <laughs> so I've actually added some anjo chilies. Um, now this is optional. You can actually use your chili flakes. Um, anjo chilies actually has a smoky taste, which I think actually helps with this dish, especially if you're not like um, charcoal grilling things. When you use the anjo chilies, it's quite great. It's readily available in most supermarkets. Um, but as I said, if you're going to be using your red um, chili flakes, um, just use about um, a quarter of a teaspoon because you don't just want that heat. You just want that receipt heat now add some salt to taste and then I just do some stuff and I think this is more of a decorating thing more than anything else you could do without it but I think that looks pretty <laughs> Marinate your guinea fowl in the fridge for a minimum of two hours and um, once you're ready um, just bring it out of the fridge at least 20 minutes before you start cooking and preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Now once you've actually brought the um, guinea fowl to room temperature, add the remaining oil, your infused oil, um, just to remind it of its flavours again. And I think this bad girl, has, I don't know why I always say bad girl, bad boy, bad guinea fowl maybe, <laughs> is ready for the oven. Bake it for 30 minutes at 200 degrees and then I reduce the heat to 170 degrees for the next 15 minutes and voila you have your perfectly roasted guinea fowl all moist and nice let me do this again let me do it let me let me let me do it it's not any other food this is mm, doo -doo. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the recipe please show me some love do not forget to subscribe share try and leave me a comment now i serve this guinea fowl with some roast pepper sauce and some heritage carrots oh yes all fancy and then i use the leftovers for my fried rice which is in one of my previous videos so do check it out thank you again for watching it's in do dubai fafa um you can find more recipes on my blog in do dubai fafa.blogspot.com or fafagilbert.com